So, ladies and gentlemen, I might have to take center stage for a second. <laughs> so, Trump gets shot at, grazed by the ear. Trump won the debate. Trump's numbers have been crazy. He just signed on his VP. VP is a is is a formidable mm-hmm. person, not necessarily anybody somebody anybody cares about. Trump seems to have his shit together, and it definitely looks like he was going to become president if we kept going the way we're going. Let's be honest. Joe Biden physically doesn't have the capability of being able to handle the task of debating, uh, doing all that of running around the country. Running for president is a very physically taxing job. It requires you to go to different places every day two and three four different places every day taking mad flights as an as a late 80 year old man it is very hard for him to do and he's already been physically taxed by doing four years of being the president so he's losing he's physically not in a place to be able to handle it he's mentally not in a place to be able to handle it and his reputation and his 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 jacket ain't holding up so like at this point the 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 democrats are too much of a bitch to try to put him or do something fly to make him look dope or fight it. So they've been wanting, they've actually behind closed doors. Obama called him four days ago and asked him to step down. Then um, there were a few other people that, that called in uh, the Clintons actually made a private phone call to Biden and requested him to stand down. So after a few days of deliberation, this isn't very, Crazy for me to hear CNN. They've been talking about this. MSN, ABC has been talking about this. So this is something that we've seen coming. Uh, the question is, who's going to take his place? The crazy part that I don't like about this, and I heard that as he was going to step down, he was not going to endorse Kamala Harris. I don't fucking understand why we're not going to endorse Kamala Harris. Not necessarily that I am all amped about having another black president, but Kamala Harris is fucking ex-military. She's a fucking lawyer. She's smart as fuck. She's hard, hard as far as, you know what I'm saying? She's a strong personality uh, and she's very intelligent. Why not endorse this person? And she's been vice president already for four years. So the country actually is already familiar, not as familiar as they could be. But what are we going to do? We got to run Kamala or who else? Who else do we feel like? And don't tell me nothing about no fucking Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is just as old as Biden. So I'm not, I don't feel like that's a good idea at this point for us to try to push for a, burn, a last minute Bernie Sanders push towards the White House. Yo, what is happening? Yo, it's a crazy First of all, yo, Trump. Who they gonna pull out of the woodworks that's gonna compete against Trump, bro? Yo, that was my, that was my thing from the beginning. He, yo, he's showing his ass on niggas, bro. Like this nigga really, it's commendable almost, bro. Like this but, nigga really showing up. Like he ain't playing with these does, niggas. Does the shooting weigh in it, it, Biden's decision at all? Probably Repeat not, right? Did Repeat the shooting again. did the shooting weigh in on Biden's decision at all? Yeah, yo, I'm telling you, that fucking shooting shot that nigga numbers through the roof. The, it's the it's the shooting, the fucking picture, the way he's been pivoting off of it. Dog, Trump has not stopped talking about that. He's talked about that shit every fucking day, all day since it's happened. And nigga, his 50 Cent did too. You, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was it was the intended it was the intended effect. If I can like, shout that nigga, I'm talking about that shit me. forever. When y'all, call, when y'all ask me, why the fuck would somebody do this? It's because it galvanized his base. It made people feel like he was bulletproof. It made people feel like, yo, they coming after him. He must be the man. We got to stick behind him. It, it, it fucking fired his base up and it fired him up. And it made people more determined to be on his side. It really made people have to choose sides. And it fucked up the Democrats. Niggas don't know what the fuck to do now. Oh, shit. This just fucking happened. We look guilty as fuck, even though we probably didn't have nothing to do with it. And we ain't know what the fuck we was doing before this shit. And now this, to me, the fact that Biden stepped down is a prime example of these niggas not having a fucking clue on what to do next. The moment you were, you should have had, you should have had the next person in place ready to go to do a peaceful transition saying, Biden would say, hey man, I don't feel like I'm fit, but Here's my guy, or here's my girl, Kamala Harris. She's going to take my place. This is how we're going to... Yo, come on, bro. You know what? I ain't going to lie. I hate being a fucking Democrat. 
Democrats are fucking stupid. You niggas have the most money and zero organization. Y'all niggas have the most diversity and zero common sense. Y'all niggas don't never plan for shit and got the most educations. The Republicans is the dumbest niggas out here, but they organize and they fucking out here making moves. Niggas done changed the goddamn Congress. Y'all done, done changed the goddamn shit. They done changed the motherfucking uh, 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 Supreme Court. And you niggas can't get up off your asses to organize a president presidential run what the fuck are y'all niggas doing bro maybe maybe he, maybe maybe he, maybe he races bro i don't i don't give a fuck and that's the problem y'all democrats give a fuck too much about who's racist and who not this shit is fucked up we need control so we can fix shit i don't mm. give a fuck if a nigga racist is the nigga gonna do what the fuck i said he gonna do at gunpoint no i'm saying he, he racist that's why no he not, that's why that's why he's not endorsing uh vp harris because he racist he got on Biden. he got on okay he got on oh, obama's see. ticket that's you what know, he got on he got on obama's ticket so that way he could get you know woo -woo familiarity they vote him in next year hey get this black lady on your on your team you gonna get the blacks and you're gonna get the, the lady votes and now you in position is like nah mm. i don't want no lady being president, I don't want no black woman being president. You know what I mean? That could be that. I don't know. That's that don't make crazy. no sense. So by so uh Trump about to be our next president. And I think so. Uh, and I'm not missing out on that PPP this year. <laughs> I ain't missing out. I know niggas saying this shit to be funny, but you don't you don't want this nigga to become president, bro. Bro, they said that last time. What really happened? It's, honestly, it's a, I, like not trying to be ignorant. Whoa, they said whoa, 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 whoa. that. Whoa, I'm gonna answer your question right now, and very clearly, Trump was running out of ego the first time and was not organized, and most of his presidency was clumsy, unorganized, and thrown together. When he left office. What happened is throughout that first presidency, all of the uber conservative racist motherfuckers that were organized and had money decided to get behind this nigga because they knew that he could they could control him. As long as they put money in his pocket and they made sure he was happy, they were allowed to put together Project 25, which is the goal for 2025, which is pretty much to throw out anybody that's not going to agree with the president and not agree with their their their. Uh, agenda moving forward and they're going to have a, a dictatorship that's what the fuck we're talking about we're talking about a group of people that are educated well financed and well organized and been preparing for 30 years and they put on their website exactly what they want to do so that means they've already gotten rid of uh minority my, anything that has to do with minority support so they got got rid of that so now they're going to start start throwing niggas out of their businesses number two they're going to do is they're going to start fucking putting niggas in internment camps they literally fucking said that shit it's in the documents meaning that they're going to start with illegal aliens then they're going to start with homeless people so they're going to create internment jails for illegals and for homeless people they're going to put them in jails mm. is that what you want to happen the niggas that's on the corner that y'all be trying to feed they're going to round these niggas up and they're going to put them in jail so now what happens if you lose your job what happens if you lose your home you got to immediately report to an internment camp so how the fuck do you find another job how the fuck do you get out of the streets after that that's one those are a couple small things then you've got when I say the ability to change the laws within the federal government to if you don't agree with the president, you could be fired. That means that there's no checks and balances. If the president wants to go to war, you go to war. If the president wants to not deal with black people no more, nobody can fight him on that. Right now, we have a check, a system of checks and balances. That means the president could not like some shit and other people in the government be like, I don't give a fuck about that shit and they're not be fired. So if they get in there and they create a system to where you have to follow whatever the president says. So what if the president decides that he just don't he just don't like China and he wants to launch off nuclear weapons? There's nobody stopping him from doing that. Hmm. That's the fucking problem. And because we all arguing about dumb shit. We're not thinking that we're not understanding that there is a group of people that have been making sure that they got down on paper everything they're going to do. They know exactly what laws to attack. They know exactly what people they want to get removed from office. They want to they know exactly how they want to do whatever they're going to do. And they've got the oh, they've already got everybody that they want to put in position already set aside. So this time. If Trump wins, instead of him not having an, a staff to run, because when he first when he won the first time, he had no transition staff. He had no chief of staff. 
He had no fucking foreign affairs. He had none of those people. For literally two years, he didn't have those people. Guess what? They already have their staff figured out already. And none of them are Republicans. None of them are Democrats. They are all uber conservatives who are all about this fucking racist agenda. And the thing that makes it worse is that they're not hiding it. It's on his website. They laid it out point by point how they're going to get rid of niggas. That's what's different. Is that before it was a fluke and niggas laughed about it and he fumbled his way. This time, some fucking racist conservative niggas that are fucking radicals have teamed up with this nigga and they're not hiding it. Mm. That's the point. So what makes it crazier is there's got to be some worse shit behind the shit that they're showing you. Mm. So is that the far, is that how far we want to take it? So and this has been discussions on the news for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and months at a time. And this is what people have been screaming is that it's not that I don't hate Trump because of his personal shit. I don't give a fuck about Trump fucking prostitutes. And that's what you're supposed to do when you rich. Nigga, go fuck some prostitutes and some bitches. Get out here, steal money, rip niggas off. Yo, you're a rich nigga. That's what you're supposed to do. I know poor niggas that do that shit. But when you talk about becoming president of the United States, there has to be some sense of purpose for helping the country, mm. not rich people in the country, but all Americans. And internment camps should never be anywhere on a list of priorities for an American president. Mm. I'm sorry. I, 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 them cutting... Yo, Trump cut child support down. Yo, Trump cut... Um, uh, what is that? The shit where niggas get the money when you ain't got no job. Like, yo, that cunt... Yo, uh, Trump cut unemployment bro they're trying to completely get rid of unemployment so a lot of people who are surviving right now off of unemployment and a lot of other things are going to lose that shit insurance companies well like right now they're trying to put laws in place to regulate on how much interest can be charged they're also trying to put things in line to where they can with right now the democrats are trying to stop corporations from buying houses do you think trump gives a fuck about any of that shit so like let's be honest, let's be real, man. Like and I and I and I know we want to have jokes and be funny, but this shit ain't funny. And again, so we talking about the game. Is Kamala, is Kamala Harris going to run for president? I hope so. So but it's but my, but I'm, I'm I'm wondering if this is a good thing for everybody. But it's, we, it's been it's been a conversation about having a woman as president. Okay. Remember when Hillary was run, um, Hillary was running? People was like, dude, is that is that what we want? For our country, I, I think that's just some sexist shit. Um, are you trying to ask me whether or not it's okay that a woman can run? You know, not, yo, it, not I, if it's okay, but I, I remember having that. I remember hearing yeah, that conversation. Like, like, is, that, like, is that a real thing? I think that's bullshit. I think it's bullshit. I feel like, first of all, you're talking about a woman. She ain't 20. She ain't 30. She ain't 40. She in her 50s, damn near her 60s. So, like, you're talking about somebody who is seasoned. You're talking about somebody that already handles large staffs of people, thousands of people. She has to make big decisions. Uh, whether you're talking about Hillary Clinton or Kamala Harris, these women are women of industry. These are professionals. So, like, I, I really wish we would stop talking about these people that are already powerful uh, individuals, whether it be in politics or not in politics, like they're fucking some chambermaid or like some kind of housewife that they never had a job before. Like, yo, these women are are powerful leaders. So, like, yo, can she run a country? Fuck yeah. Mm. And the fuck, the fact, the fact of the matter is, don't you don't nobody knows if they can run a country until they do it. Because guess what? You've never run a country. It's not a job that everybody can get. You can't fill out an application and get a job to run a country. So like everybody and you're never doing it by yourself. You're always you're always running the country with a group of people that help you make decisions. So you could be J Hill. You could become president tomorrow. Guess what? There's still going to be a group of people that are going to explain things to you. They're going to help you understand, you know, hey, if you decide to do this, this is what's going to happen. If you decide to do that, this is what's going to happen. And you only are just making measured decisions based upon the information you're given. So mm. anybody can run a country if, if you're willing to learn, be attentive, to be caring, and think about long-term implications, not just the momentary implications. And can mm. a woman do that? Yes. The same way a man can do that. I think that's a ridiculous conversation.